this is probably one of the best games I've ever played in my life, especially RPGs, which is my main focus, JRPGs, Japanese role-playing games, whatever you want to call them, role-playing games. This is by far one of my favorite games. Now, it just, it really flows so well. The music is really good. Uh, for, for the time period, the graphical whatever is really good. Uh, like all the remasters that, that I've talked about, you can have four-time gill and four-time experience points, which I really like. There's so many things that you can do in this game. There there's so many different combinations of characters that you can play. It doesn't have jobs, which I really like. It's just, it's really perfect. So, I mean, the basis is basically you are this like half, half Esper and half human and you have magic and you know it's, it's a story of it's a very typical story that you see in a lot of rpgs especially in the japanese realm of you got to save the world the world is something's happening in the world and you got to save the world now that that part of it pretty common you see it a lot but i really like the way they tell the story i like the way it flows and i, I was reading a little bit about it the reason the second part of the game actually happens is because they were ahead of schedule in making the video game, so they just decided to add more to it than was actually going to be there, and I'm really glad that they did. I didn't really have any negatives, although that second half, it was good. It, it you know, it, it felt like it felt like you beat the game before you got to that second half, so. You know, I don't know. It's a good game. It's a phenomenal game. It flows really well. While one of the things that I don't really like normally is a lot of characters to choose from, the way it's done in this game is really good, especially at the end of it when you choose different teams and stuff like that. It flows really well. <clears throat> and you don't have as much like, oh, I don't know which character I should get more experience points with. I don't know which character I should just kind of let fall off to the side. Everybody has a role to play. Some of them are surprisingly powerful, like surprisingly so. You you know, when you think of it, you, you wouldn't think that they had so much power to it. There's a couple of things that I didn't do that I really would have done uh, had I known how powerful they could be. But the final boss really is not that hard. I really did not have that, that much issue with it. Like Final Fantasy V, that final boss was ridiculous ridiculous but the final boss in final fantasy 6 it was achievable i did i didn't beat it like the first like i don't know two times and then the, on the third time i beat it so i was really happy about that the music sounds phenomenal the music is really good either if you play the old version of it or the new orchestrated version of it it's really good I don't, I'm trying not to give anything away here for, for like for me like I never played Final Fantasy 3 when it was uh, you know when it, uh, originally Final Fantasy 3 when it came over to America I never played it I played the first two games but not that much because like I said the the you know the, the random encounters always drove me nuts in this game I never turned them off because it was always nice to just have those battles i really liked how you could have it automated and it just it, it really flowed really well so i just left the random encounters on the entire time which meant that i was probably a little bit overpowered by the time i got to the final boss but i mean who i, I don't have an issue with that at all I, I you know life is is crazy enough so when you get to the end of a of a game would you rather beat it or would you rather have that total struggle? So it, it's just one of those things that I, I'm glad that I did it the way I did it because it allowed me to just flow through the game. So if you're playing the, the Pixel Remaster, I would I would definitely leave the four-time gill and experience points on. I would definitely use utilize that because it is definitely something that is worth doing. 100%. This game is just so phenomenal. I, I just, I, I couldn't put it down. Like, I rarely have a game <clears throat> where I can't put the controller down. Like, there was one time I think I played the entire Sunday. Like, normally I don't, uh, normally Sunday is my, like, video game day. I don't really do a whole lot on Sundays. But I played it the entire Sunday. I, like, I, I played it for, like, however many hours. And then I went for a walk and I came back and played it for, like, the rest of the day. It was crazy. 
I never had that happen with games. Like I tried to actually play some games after that that I really liked and I, I just, I couldn't get into them because I was just like, man, this game is so good. As far as the magic goes, there's, I think they're called Magnesite or I think that Magnesite or something like that. <clears throat> I, I really like the way you, they did this. So you get these little, they look like crystals. You get these little crystals and you basically equip them for each person but then you get to a point where you 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 absorb everything and you know those those that magic and you can rotate these things around now that like for Gollum, like if you have if one person has this magazine and, and <clears throat> they have Gollum, then they can they can summon Gollum in a battle but once you have that little star next to each one of these magasites, you actually have all of the things that come along with it. So like a Cura or something like that, or Fira or, or something like that. You, you just have that permanently with that character. I really like the way they do that. I like that way better than the job system that was in Final Fantasy V. The, the job system drives me crazy because you don't know which jobs you're really going to need at the end of the game. Which ones are going to be the most, uh, you know, most utilized? The ones that are going to make it much easier to, to beat the final boss or, or the final castle or whatever you want to call it, the final dungeon. And, and with this, it, you, I, it was leveling up pretty quick, so I could. I there was some actually of my characters that had every single one with a little star next to. Uh, 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 I got all but like two of the magasite. I think that's what they're called. Uh, but man, that game is good. I mean, the game is so well thought out. I've I've dabbled with Final Fantasy VII. I really couldn't get into it. I can't even remember what the the magic and all that kind of stuff was in Final Fantasy VII. I have played eight. I've never played nine. I've played ten, and that was that's it. So that's it for my Final Fantasy. As far as Final Fantasy VI, hundred percent, hundred percent. It is definitely like one of the best games period that I've been, ever played. And I've been playing video games since 1985. It's hard to believe. But wow, what a good game. What a good game. So anyway, check it out. Um, definitely worth having. I don't have a physical version of Pixel Remaster. I really kind of wish I did. But you can go in and you can download them piecemeal on the Nintendo eShop and just try them out. But... I'm gonna make a final of like which ones were my favorite, but this is definitely uh, in competition with another one, and we'll see what I where I place these things. But wow, go play this game. Anyway, comments, questions down below. Let me know which which was, uh, was your favorite Final Fantasy so far. Uh, maybe I'll you know if there's enough responses or any responses, I'll know which one to play next. And until the next one, have a good day.